Hello, my name is Greta. I am 15 years old and I'm school striking for the climate outside the Swedish parliament. I am here to say our house is on fire. According to the IPCC, we are less than 12 years away from not being able to undo our mistakes. Around the year 2030, we will be in a position where we set off an irreversible chain reaction that will most likely lead to the end of our civilization as we know it. That is, unless in that time, permanent and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society, including a reduction of our CO2 emissions by at least 50%. These calculations are not opinions or wild guesses. These projections are backed up by scientific facts, concluded by all nations through the IPCC. And on climate change, we have to acknowledge that we have failed. All political movements in their present form have done so. And the media has failed to create broad public awareness. Yes, we are failing, but there is still time to turn everything around. We can still fix this. Many people say that Sweden is just a small country and it doesn't matter what we do. But I've learned that you are never too small to make a difference. And if a few children can get headlines all over the world just by not going to school, then imagine what we could all do together if we really wanted to. But to do that, we have to speak clearly, no matter how uncomfortable that may be. You only speak of green, eternal economic growth because you are too scared of being unpopular. You only talk about moving forward with the same bad ideas that got us into this mess, even when the only sensible thing to do is pull the emergency brake. You are not mature enough to tell it like it is. Even that burden you leave to us children. Until you start focusing on what needs to be done, rather than what is politically possible, there is no hope. We cannot solve a crisis without treating it as a crisis. We need to keep the fossil fuels in the ground and we need to focus on equity. And if solutions within this system are so impossible to find, then maybe we should change the system itself. We are in the midst of the sixth mass extinction and the extinction rate is up to 10,000 times faster than what is considered normal, with up to 200 species becoming extinct every single day. Erosion of fertile topsoil, deforestation of our great forests, toxic air pollution, loss of insects and wildlife, the acidification of our oceans. These are all disastrous trends being accelerated by a way of life that we, here in our financially fortunate part of the world, see as our right to simply carry on. Solving the climate crisis is the greatest and most complex challenge that Homo sapiens has ever, have ever faced. The main solution, however, is so simple that even a small child can understand it. We have to stop the emissions of greenhouse gases. And either we do that or we don't. I talk to politicians, they say, I'm a politician, my job is to, to win elections and get votes. Uh, today you don't get votes by having radical climate politics and if they don't have support from the people they can't really do anything so I think that we need to make people aware and, and so that they can put pressure on people in power and to force them to do something. Adults keep saying we owe it to the young people to give them hope. But I don't want your hope. I don't want you to be hopeful. 
I want you to panic. I want you to feel the fear I feel every day. And then I want you to act. I want you to act as if you would in a crisis. I want you to act as if the house was on fire. Because it is.